Hello everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing Inform Perisage. Now just to note, this is after he got his upgrade, so this is his 87 card and not his 86. Right, so just getting into the expectations, like, you can just see from his stats, I've literally just wrote an all-rounder. Everywhere in his stats they're high 80s, bar defending, obviously he's a left mid. So, you know, in terms of just stats, his stats are insane. All across the board, they're all 80s, so you expect big things with Perisage. In terms of cheaper alternatives, we have his 86 card, which is around 20k on Xbox, I think. And we have Mkhitaryan, also just another inform with similar enough stats. A little bit less physical, but similar enough stats. So just looking at his stats overall, his stats are insane. The only orange one, which is, you know, a bit worrying, is his aggression, which is 62. But his strength is 80, so it might match out. Um, I was pretty impressed overall with his stats, so I literally just put a catalyst card on just to improve his passing a little bit and put that pace up a little bit higher. Right, so just getting into the clips, if anyone has watched me while I stream a Perisage, you'll know I love this guy. He's Mr. Clutch. When it comes to those big moments, Perisage is always there in terms of getting into the box himself and finishing it off or starting the play up and finishing it off he is always there in the right moment at the right time and he will score those goals for the lads trust me he is always there in that big big moment to put away those chances the one thing though that most people don't realize about this lad is his physicality they don't use i've like there's only one other lad i know that uses his physicality to a t because Perisic, when he gets into the box or when he goes down the wing, he can push so many people off the ball. And I don't see anyone doing that with Perisic, not even his normal card. This chap is insane with his physical play. You have to start abusing that. And his link up play in terms of like, you can play him, I personally play him at camp, I don't usually play him out in the wing. He can play out of the wing as well and he can still dominate. But his link up play along with his physicality is insane. Also his heading. For someone that plays at left wing, he can play in the cam. He usually out jumps most people. So that's like he's honestly an all rounder in that sense, which is what we expected. The only thing that's a little bit annoying sometimes, which is due to the gameplay, is his balance. Because he's tall and, you know, he's not very versatile, his balance sometimes can be a little bit of an issue, but not too much of an issue. So, an overall rating, lads, he's getting annoying. The only reason why he's not getting higher is is just because of that balance so it can be a little bit annoying for certain players i know but overall he's getting annoying is he worth it yes 100 percent worth it please get him for your own sake trust me i didn't have him on full cam i used him as a sub and he banged in something like i think 20 goals and he had something like seven or eight assists from the bench out of 40 games which is insane for a sub. Just in terms of foot champs ready, lads, like you can see from the clips, yes, 100%. It's not even a question how, how foot champs ready is. If you want someone to be there in those big moments like you need in foot champs, he's the man. Buy him immediately. All right, lads, so that's the end of the review. I am not sure who to do next, so if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments, and I will talk to you then. Cheers.